Good afternoon and welcome to sunny, beautiful London. Look at that, all the blossom on my tree, beautiful. Okay, so here we are. We are back with the propagators and the chilies. Um, missed out an update last week, so I had a few other things on my plate, but here we are and we are back at it. So let's take a look at what we got. And as you can see, things are coming on leaps and bounds right to the top of the propagator there. It looks like the jungle scene from Predator in there. Um, I'm pretty much positive it's all to do with that baby, that lamp that's remained on ever since, so that's perfect. So I'm just going to take some lids off. Um, as I'm doing that, I'll tell you about a bit of a disaster. So about two weeks ago, when we had the new weather, the beautiful hot sunny day, uh, all of these were with their lids on and the propagators uh, were heated as well. And unbeknownst to me, the temperatures just bounced up to just over 100. Um, so with all of these new seeds, we had tremendous damage. So you'll see a lot of these pods are empty. There should be six in each, but you'll see a lot of them are actually empty now, or missing some. Um, yeah, look at that, like the red hab's really taking a kick in there. Uh, yeah, so I lost a lot of plants, and also got quite a lot of damage to um, the, the, the more mature plants and the main propagators there. Um, they're generally happy, as I understand it, between about 70 and 90 for growth, but if you go any higher than that, you're gonna kill them off. Uh, and we've got a lot of damage. That in turn gave me another problem. So the way I dealt with that was I got them out of the sun, got some air to them. Oh, and there's a lovely heat coming off of that when you, when you turn these over. Let's just see where we are with the temperature in there. Yeah, there you go, just sort of 80 degrees. Uh, so the only way I could cool them down was to water them uh, with some cold water and get some air to them. Unfortunately, when I watered them, um, I've overwatered them, and you can see there's quite a lot of damage to the leaves. I've looked at this before, where you get kind of this um, browning on the leaves. So again, I've cut a lot of leaves off of some of these. You're seeing some of that kind of crumbly. You can hear it. So I've cut a lot of the leaves off of these, but to be honest, at this stage in the development, I'm not going to miss a couple of leaves. Um, and they are looking pretty damn good. Um, I haven't watered them for about a week and a half, and I'll just show you one. So you can really see it in the soil there. It's really light, really fine, and there's just kind of very little weight to these things. If they were wet, they'd have a lot more weight. And it's the same with these trays. Actually, they're not too bad. So all I'm going to do today is I'm going to give them um, a little water, uh, a little bit of TLC, and as I say, you can see it's a beautiful day out there. I don't want to burn them off, so I'm going to leave the main light on. Um, I'm just going to leave them to get some air, uh, which should do them a bit of good. And we're all we're all good. Um, so as you as you probably saw, some of these, like the poblanos, are actually touching the top of the propagators, um, and a couple of these. Yeah, poblanos again they're really vigorous growers uh, touching the top of the um, of the little seed trace here well there's another one coming up that's all good didn't see him perfect so i'm just going to give these a bit of a water and let nature take its course the heating's all off i've turned off all the heating now on these they don't need to they don't need the old propagators on that's really just to get them through the chilly months that's chilly months very good uh through the colder months uh, I'll give them all the water. Um, the next thing up will be I've ordered some one litre square pots. So again, it's these things, but bigger. Um, and I'll look to transfer them over nah, maybe next weekend. I'll see how I go. Just a short update. Hope you're all well. Take care. Cheers. Bye. 